About an hour ago, from the time of this recording, the SEC was hit with sanctions. This just surfaced in the news for gross abuse of power. Hi, and welcome back, guys. We're going to have a fun one here tonight. Of course, we're going to talk about XRP, XLM, digital assets, and more. All we ever ask is if you do like talking about digital assets and being up to date with what is truly happening in the digital revolution, you know what to do. Go ahead and drop an X in the comment section below. Smash that like button so we know and share the content. Let others around the world know what is truly happening in this digital revolution. As I want to start right here, guys. SEC hit with sanctions. Now, on X, formerly known as Twitter, Meta Law Man put out a thread in regards to this. I want to summarize it. He summarizes it perfectly. He's a lawyer, Vanderbilt Law, reputable guy, right? Says the judge in the debt box case has issued an 80 page opinion sanctioning the SEC for misconduct. In the case, the opinion is devastating to the SEC as an institution and to the particular lawyers who committed the misconduct. Now, the judges made it crystal clear that the SEC lawyers did not make an error. They lied intentionally. In an opinion, that will surely be cited to litigants across the country for years to come, the judge found that, quote, the critical evidence the commission offered to obtain and defend the ex parte TRO lacked any basis fact, basis in fact, right? Yet the commissions nonetheless advance that evidence in deliberately false and misleading ways. They lied, right? And so as we move on, the SEC engaged in a gross abuse of power entrusted to it by Congress. The SEC undermined the integrity of the judicial process. The judge has now ordered the SEC to pay attorney fees of the defendants in the case. This is a sad day. He states the SEC once was a great institution respected by folks all around the globe for its competence and integrity. Now is the time for accountability. The judge found that the SEC engaged in a gross abuse of power, guys. They lied. And will Congress do something about this? Revamp the SEC. Finally get the bad actors out of play as to be determined. But they are definitely getting another L here today was the SEC. As this is as bad as it gets for lawyers. Here's a quote. Thus, in opposition, the commission not only exuberated its misconduct from the TRO hearing by seeking to affirm and reiterate the false statements it had previously made, a statement in knowing it was false from the time it was made and it failed to correct, but engage in a further misconduct by communicating an additional false and misleading statement to the court after being confronted with irrefutable evidence of its error. Guys, the SEC continues to lose. Crypto continues to move on as XRP ledger validator shows successful XRP deployment in the AMM on Saturday, March 16th, Atlantis Exchange which is a U.S. Treasury approved exchange, uh, announced that it would be listing XRP. This listing is significant for the altcoin because Atlantis Exchange is one of the few uh, exchanges, guys, not only registered in the U.S., but also the United Nations. Now, I want to talk a little bit about all-time highs for XRP as I got a question here today from a gentleman uh, on X, formerly known as Twitter, Denison says, I'm a reasonable man. Just give me an all-time high for XRP by September end. Like I always say, XRP moves with XLM and then HBAR isn't far behind. And so here is my statement to him and to you all. I'm a reasonable man too. So I'm not going to lie to anyone and act like I can predict the future. What I can tell you is it doesn't take a genius to realize XRP has been held down by the SEC for a very long time now and the case could be done around September. 
a win will obviously make XRP move, and then through an eventual ETF, IPO, and central banks getting into crypto January 1st, 2025, I mean, I'm definitely excited for XRP, but these are my thoughts. You got to do your research and understand what's happening here with XRP, XLM, these other digital assets, and all-time high is most certainly going to happen in my personal opinion guys gonna have a fun year could have some dumps right around uh the bitcoin having and then thereafter but the market's gonna take off and the market's gonna take off in a big way and a lot of people are going to make a lot of money i'm not a financial advisor i'm not trying to give anyone financial advice but you can look at the data lately we have been showing you a lot of charts we've been showing you what the data indicates and all indicators show we are moving right along as planned and it's simple supply and demand guys the bitcoin having only happens every four years it's about to happen it's about a month away this is 100 percent good for the cryptocurrency industry don't let any anyone sway you out of your bags understand why you got in and understand and know what you hold so i got for you for now guys if you don't mind go ahead and drop an x in the comment section click that like button give us a big thumbs up share this content far and wide we'll see you all in the next one